I want to welcome you to the Prodigal Son Ministries podcast. And I, I want to say, well, this is week three of a new series that we've started, and it's your place in Him. Now, listen, we done this. We started this in Him Scripture study on June the twenty first of two thousand twenty one, and I want to invite you to go back to that that first uh, first series that we done. And we went through a series of scriptures that ended up going on a card that we give away in jails and prisons and churches and ministries and, and all kinds of different places that we, we go and teach. But, uh, the Lord has, he, he later, uh, led me to do some videos that, that ended up on tens of thousands of tablets all over this all over this nation in jails and prisons. And and when we done those, we just started. I mean, my wife and I, my daughter, they, they've all helped us do this. And, and we started out just not knowing what we were doing. And and the, the the quality of those videos weren't wasn't what it was supposed to be. But yet, you know, we persevered through and we've saw some miraculous things go on in jails and prisons uh, out here in, on, in the world by doing those videos. But the Lord's led me to go back and, and, and get a better hold on the audio and the video quality of these, of these, uh, these videos that we send out to these jails and prisons. And, uh, this is, uh, the week three of us going directly off this card and going through every one of those scriptures. It's going to take us 41 weeks and this is week three. And, and we want to encourage you to get this card and go through this card with us at five days a week on this, on this audio podcast. And then sit on the sixth day on Sundays, we recap this, this, uh, video series and or this uh, audio series on a video that comes out on Sundays and that very video is the one that is is as put on the tablets that are all over this nation in jails and prisons now i want to take the time to thank the partners of this ministry partners you have no idea the impact that you're making in, in people's lives all over this nation, in jails and prisons, and all, all over this nation through the podcast, through the audio and the video podcast that goes out on social media, and all over the world. I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, and, and I, don't, I don't know if it's still true today, but at one time, the, the biggest concentration of listeners to this podcast was on the west coast in the in the bay area of uh california and you thought how in the world did you end up in in that area of the country getting more downloads than anywhere else i have no idea all i know is that god is making a way for people that that have that have needed him for decades in their life to see and understand that that he's for them. He loves them and he cares for them. That's what this podcast is all about. That's what this whole thing is all about is to lift people up and show them that God cares about them and to teach them what he says about them when they're born again. And if they're not born again, to teach them what what God spoke out in his word to teach the, he is born again children, how much he has done for them so that they can be a light to this world. And the lost people of this world see these videos and hear these podcasts and think, I want what that man's talking about. I've never been born again. And they're getting born again. Thank God for the word. Thank God for the word today. So if you're not a partner of this ministry, pray about what God would have you to do to partner with this ministry to help us do what God has called us to do today. Once again, I have the privilege to bring you 
Paul's prayers for the Ephesians. I've adopted these prayers for every person on this planet that they could come to realize and understand just how much God loves them, just how much he cares for them. That's the reason we do these prayers five days a week on this podcast so people can get a real understanding of what what God is saying to them. Don't skip through these prayers, but listen and and take them for yourself and recite them for yourself. Read out, read them out loud. They're in the the notes of, of this podcast. Read them out loud along with us. Ephesians one fifteen says, "Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I've not stopped thanking God for you." I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called, his holy people, who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ, who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3.14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand as all God's people should. How wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able, through his mighty power at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations Forever and ever, I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God that these these prayers are so real to me. And I see God's love and mercy and grace in my life every day of my life. More and more every day. And it all comes from His Word. Let's see what God's Word has to say today. Lord, I praise You and I thank You, God, for Your Word. Guide me. Use me today for your honor and your glory, and I'll forever give you all the praise and glory for it all. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. Okay, I want you to uh, get a hold of uh, what we're talking about today, and it's liberty. <laughs> Our liberty in Jesus Christ, our Lord. And and let me let me take you to the scriptures. It's, it's Galatians 2 and 4. It says, Paul said to the Galatians, it says, And that because of false brethren, unawares brought in, in other words, they snuck in, who came in privily to spy out our liberty, which we have in Christ Jesus, that they might bring us into bondage. Now, you got to understand what the Galatians was, were dealing with. They were they were dealing with people that were trying to pull them back into the law, and they'd been re, uh, received or brought back out of the law, and they'd been gloriously saved, but turned around and right, just went right back and and got under the bondage of it again. And it was because of people that were coming around. Let me let me read it in the New Living Translation. It says even. That question came up only because of some so-called believers there, false ones, really, who were secretly brought in. They sneaked in, 
to spy on us and take away the freedom we have in Christ Jesus. Talking about our liberty. That's the definition. It says they wanted to enslave us and force us to follow their Jewish regulations. Now, let me read the the definition of uh, liberty. This is not a biblical dictionary. I Googled it. That's it. Just use Google. And it says, the state of being free within, within society from oppressive restrictions imposed by authority of, on one's way of life, behavior, or p- political b- views. Uh, compulsory retirement would interfere with an individual re- uh, liberty. In other words, freedom is liberty, and liberty is freedom. And and God wants us to realize and understand something. In Christ Jesus, we are free from the the bondage that the law brings. You say, "Well, are we free to just do anything?" No, I'm not. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that we have been freed from the bondage of sin and death. How? In Christ Jesus, and you can overcome anything in Him. I'm going to promise you, you're more than a conqueror in him. You're that overcomer that he said he is because you reside in him as your Lord and Savior. Let me read the the Amplified Classic of Galatians 2 and 4. It says, my precaution was because of false brethren who had been secretly smuggled in to the Christian brotherhood. They had slipped in to spy on our liberty. Remember, our freedom and the freedom which we have in Christ that they might again bring us into bondage under the laws of Moses. In other words, they were trying to invoke the law back on the Galatians that had had been given the liberty, the freedom to to operate in this world without reservation, without being held back. And... They'd been given that because they were had been born again. And and my Lord, when you come to realize this and when you come to get a hold of this and pull this up and say, Hey, I've been set free from the from from my sin and my shortcomings and all the crap that, that I've lived in and condoned in my life. Jesus Christ died to to reconcile me. God was in Christ reconciling the world. Remember what we was talking about yesterday? Being reconciled, being restored to friendly relation, that we that we've had that we might have freedom in this world, not to go out and freely sin and do whatever we want to, not to not to be bound up by a bunch of law that does nothing but show us how how sinful that we really are. No, so that we can have the freedom that we have been given. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. People, when you really get a hold of just how much God cares for you and all the trouble that he went to to show you and to to give you the, the understanding and the, and the, and the uh, wisdom to be able to stand up and say, My God loves me. He cares for me. He wants me to know that. He wants me to be strong in him. And when you do that, come to realize that and, and, and stand on those truths, honey, you can, you can see things change. You can be free from the bondage of sin and death. How? In Christ Jesus, your Lord and Savior. You can walk free and have liberty in this world that, that you've never had before. And it all comes through salvation. It all comes through salvation. Jesus Christ said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except by me. He said, He said, I'm the door. Look, I want you to realize something. Jesus is, is the door to God's kingdom. Salvation will only come through him. Through a virgin-born sacrifice that was made here on this earth for our sins. He lived a free free life, a sinless life, and died on the cross a sinner's death for, to make us, to give us the freedom to be able to, to say, I am free 
in Christ Jesus, my Lord and Savior. And nothing or nobody can ever change my mind to that. That's so important in a Christian's life that after they get born again, they come to realize the freedom that they have in Christ. Not freedom to do what they what their flesh wants to do because your flesh will do anything. Your flesh will 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 flat hurt you if if you listen to it and believe it instead of uh, what the word says. I'm gonna tell you something. The flesh, your flesh will do whatever you want it you it wants to if you let it. But you can overcome it. I've said this over and over in in the years that I've done this podcast. Uh, the two against one will win every time. And and if, when you come to realize that you are a triune being just like just like God said, God said we're made in His image and, and in His likeness. In other words, we're a spirit. We live in a body and we have an operating system, a soul, and that's our mind, our will, and our emotion. And our spirit, man, if we're born again, is saved. And if we'll renew our minds, our operating system, our soul to the truth in God's word, then you can control your flesh without without uh, reservation, without struggle in this world. You say, how? You renew it with the word of God. You take this word and you put this word into your heart and into your life and change the way you look at you. Change the way you see you. Because look here. What I, how, how I used to see myself bound me because I was, my life was full of sin and shortcomings and I messed up on a daily basis. But when I started looking and seeing the love and the mercy and the grace and the goodness that he had for me and what he, what Jesus done for me to give me the freedom, the liberty that I had to stand up and come boldly to the throne of God. Come boldly and and find it a privilege to be able to stand up and know it. Listen to me today. There's liberty liberty in Christ Jesus. There's freedom in your salvation, in what He has set aside for you to do. And all He's all He wants you to do is to be born again, to find out who you are and then tell somebody else. Hear me? He he it's it's not hard. Salvation's easy. Uh, what God wants you to do, Jesus said, it, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. He's talking to a bunch of people that had labored all their life and struggled all their life in the law. He said, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, because I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest for yourselves. For he says, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I'm going to tell you something. A Christian life is easy and light if you live it in Christ Jesus, your Lord and Savior. I promise you that. Do that today. Do that today. Live your life of freedom, of liberty, your Christian life of liberty in Christ Jesus that 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 sets you free from all the bondage that this world will do its dead level best to weight you down in. God wants you to know this. He wants you to realize this. He loves you and he cares for you. You say, how can I do that? Well, if you're born again, you renew your mind to what these scriptures are saying. That's what this podcast is about. But if you're not born again, you first got to be born again. Jesus told Nicodemus, you must be born again. And salvation's easy. Romans 10 and 9 says that Paul made it so easy and plain for people to understand. He said, he said, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. In other words, confess Jesus as Lord of your life. And believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead. It says you shall be saved. It don't say you might be if you're good enough. It says if you'll confess Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. It says for with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. That's all it takes to be saved. Won't you be born again today? Won't you allow Jesus Christ to come into your heart, into your life, and save you? He will. I promise you he will. Salvation's easy. 
I'm telling you, confess Jesus as Lord today. Make him Lord today and watch him change your life forever. Glory to God. Hey, listen, go to our website. Get in touch with us. This this website is set aside for you free of charge. And he and God wants you to to use this website and all the all the uh 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 what you call it, the content on it for your benefit. It's free. It's right there for your benefit. And if you'll take the this this podcast app on this on this website and download it to your phone. You can get this this podcast six days a week on coming to your phone every day. And and it's free, don't cost you anything, and you can get a good dose of God's word six six days a week on your phone so that you can walk free of all the bondage and the junk in this world. Go to the website. It's the dash prodigal son dot com. Now if you're a partner of this ministry Partners, thank you for all that you do sowing into this ministry, helping us do what God has commissioned us to do, and that is to give his word away free of charge all over this planet to help people see and understand just how much God cares, just how much he wants them to know who they are in Christ Jesus. And partners, you've got a big part in that. I praise God, thank God for faithful partners that do just that, that that sow into this ministry, helping us make a difference in this world through God's Word. Now, if you're not a partner of this ministry, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into His kingdom today. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com.